Hi guys, this is Manu from Jumbo PS team. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the LG's new flagship smartphone for year 2014. We call it as LG G G3. So this is the box which I have got from LG. So today I have the Titan color, which is the grey color, and also this comes in two different colors. Uh, those are white and the gold one. So this is the nice packaging from LG. Let's see at the background, at the back side. So here LG talks about knock code which I'm going to show you later on. And this device has a 5.5 inch massive dis display with 2K resolution. That is, that is a one of the new feature which uh, consumers talking about talks about this device. So that is 5.5 inch Quad HD display, and the chipset is. Snapdragon 801 Qualcomm Snapdragon, Snapdragon 801 processor and the speaker one more speaker with built-in amplifier and you have a 13 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization with dual LED, LED flash and laser autofocus and this is also one of the feature one of the new new feature on uh, LG G3 and then we got a uh, 3000 milliampere battery so let's unbox and see what's inside, what's coming with the box. Here we go. This is a gorgeous uh, looking LG G3. It has a metal f finish, but though it's made of uh, plastic, it's a really nice design with a curved black back. And he also he talks about knock code. This device runs on uh, Android latest version 4.4.2 and the chipset from Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 clocked at 2.5 GHz quad core 5.5 inch quad HD display as you can see it's the resolution it's 4 times than HD and it's 2 times than full HD display so here you have uh, optical image stabilization plus less out of focus 3000 milliampere battery so let's keep this aside for a moment and we'll see what's inside the box here too they talk about knock code so mm -hmm. see. then here we have the quick start guide have it in English and Arabic and then we have USB to micro USB cable for charging and data syncing and then here we have in-ear stereo headphones from LG with uh, volume controller and then we have uh, the wall adapter finally 3000 milliampere battery so let's Peel off this polythene. Okay. Let's see what's what are the ports, what are the type of uh, ports in, on this device. So down bottom of the phone you have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Next to that there's a small uh, ear mouthpiece, and then next to that micro USB port for charging and data connectivity on top of the phone here we have a small LED indicator and then next to that 2.1 megapixel camera which allows you to take 1080p videos at 30 frames per, per second and then we have a earpiece and there are some sensors also located on top of the phone here you as you can see here we have a dedicated mic for noise cancelling and then this port is the IR blaster which is used as the remote controller so left hand side of the phone there's no nothing no buttons on the right hand side there is no but still there's a small place where you can put your na nail and remove the back cover on the back side of the phone you can see 13 megapixel camera which allows you to take 4k videos and then 
dual LED flash one white and one amber color so this flash uses according to the light condition to give you the best picture quality and then you have the volume rocker volume up volume down this is similar to last year flagship smartphone from LG which was LG G2 then the middle you have the power button here you can see this is the laser mechanism mechanism system this uses in an invisible laser beam to measure the distance between the camera and the object in order to give you the fast focus and more accurate focus so then here we have a uh, LG logo down there you, you can see as a small hole for one watt speaker built-in amplifier so let's remove the back cover and put the battery in here you can see the micro sim card slot and the micro SD slot this micro SD you can use up to 128 GB a micro SD card to increase your memory the phone which I'm having today has a 16 GB built-in memory with 2 GB of RAM and it also comes with 3 GB of RAM that phone that device has 32 GB internal memory so 16 GB with 2 GB or 32 GB with 3 GB RAM let me close the back cover okay, it's done so let's switch on the phone let's hold the power button for a moment okay LG life's good powered by Android as you can see this is the LED indicator you should notify for some notification so this is the 5.5 inch quad HD 2k display if you see the pix pixel display resolution it's 1440 by 2560 1440 by 2560 and the pixel density is 534 pixels per inch so let me go to settings and see the software version of this one on which android this runs on go to soft, soft, software information then android version on that as you can say it's android 4.4.2 kitkat so this device also has the same uh, no con feature can just double tap on the screen on an empty area to lock the screen and again double tap to unlock the screen this works with not only in uh, home screen anywhere any blank space no okay works here also so you can tap on blank space to lock the lock the screen you can pinch in and pinch out for home screen settings you can select whichever one you want to make as home screen and you can add, add more home screens and here you can drag and drop apps into this app info it will give you this kind of uh, information about apps totals uh, total memory app memory USB app, apps data car, data and SD card so and also we can drag and drop apps to delete from here you can customize this uh, these buttons at the back you can drag and drop wherever you want to keep them as you as you wish like that way and you can add more apps now I have five let me try to add one I have six now let me try to add more yeah now I have seven let me try to add one more so I only can have six application I guess yeah you can only have six application maximum let me keep them back now if you tap you tap and hold on 
one of these icons you get this small purple color thing tap on that here you can select instead of having the default icon display you can change it there are some options or else you can add the size of the icon you can change the size of the icon You, if you tap and hold the back button it will take you to dual window mode in dual window what you can do is you can you can have two application open at the same time for example I'll open uh, internet browser and I'll open my gallery so I have my gallery here open and the internet browser this is something similar to other competitor so here, here if you tap on this icon you get some options if you want to go back just highlight whatever window you want to go back and then just go back so you can see here if you tap and hold the home button it will activate the google voice ok google what's the weather like in dubai tomorrow That's Google now. And if you tap and hold the open up icon, you'll get some options to change the display themes, widgets, home screen settings, and lock screen lock screen settings. If you tap only once, you'll get the open applications. You can zoom in, zoom out. And have we can have a, a maximum up to three applications in a row. So you can just see the app info or you can delete them from the list you can just drag and drop to delete the applications here also as you can see here you can clear all and you can activate the dual window mode from here itself itself so if you swipe up from your home screen you get two options one is Google now which I showed you before and the next thing is the quick memo quick memo is a screen grab grab application which allows you to take quick notes wherever you are in your phone so you can just quickly write down something or you can type something and then you can save it to your to your quick note you can write something and then and save it so it goes to your quick note if you go to your home uh, quick note main application you can see here the one I saved short file ago let's see what's the drop down uh, window look like so here we have all the toggles quick access struggles you have the quick memo you also you can activate the quick memo directly you can write something and then you have Wi-Fi data rotation sound Bluetooth location hotspot sync NFC Q slide Q slide if you activate it on if you select the Q slide on you'll get these applications in Q slide you can open up to two application at the same time so I have my video player and I have my dialer so let me try to open one more so it says maximum number of windows already open so I have to close one to open one more that is kind of uh, multitasking then here we have quick remote you can use this uh, device as a remote controller to control your television so you'll keep it off then aeroplane mode aeroplane mode battery server miracast 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 is a feature where you you can uh, broadcast your display to a miracast compatible television or device then quiet mode 
is actually the do not disturb mode in so as you can see it's on I'll switch it off then you have screen timeout you can select the timeout after 15 minutes 30 minutes 30 seconds 15 seconds and then 5 minutes then here you have the LD, LED indicator if you tap and hold on one of these buttons it will direct you to the full settings menu so I am in the LED notification menu you can select for which applications with which event you want to have the LED indicator for incoming calls, missed calls and message, battery and some downloaded application and finally you have the edit you open that one you can select or deselect whatever you want to keep or remove from the quick toggle and you can arrange drag and drag and drop to arrange the order like this way here you have this small widget it's called queue slide application which which will give you some information or notice or notifications depends on your depression depends on the way you use the device for example it will give you time and date it will give you weather report and it will give you some uh, calendar reminder or events depends on the way you use the phone let's open the application tray and see how it look like so this is the application window application tray here you have apps and widgets then you can have search buttons so I'll go to option in these three buttons here you can see view application apps by alphabetical order downloaded date and user customize I like to keep it as user customize then show icon show large icon you can increase the size of the icon to make it visible more visible I want to I'll keep it back to the normal size then you can hide applications some applications are not allowed to delete because they, they are built into the device so in that case you can hide for example if you want to hide this Google Play Store and for example if you want to hide the maps you can select them so it's it's hidden if you want to get it back again go there and select those two applications so it's back here and then next to that you can have install edit or uninstall application see uh, the applications which are capable of removing has this uh, red color cross here you can see so this application you can delete and the applications built into this device you are not allowed to delete from the device then finally you have the home screen settings yeah you can have uh, home screen swipe effects you can select the effects which you want to have I'd like to keep this one like that one and then you can have the wallpaper from your gallery live photos and multi photos or photos or wallpaper gallery and then I'll be talking about this back key these keys are having multiple functions for example if you tap and hold the power button sorry I'll show you again just tap and hold the power button you will get these options power off, power off and restart and turn on airplane mode you can make it uh, vibrate, you can make it silent or make it, make it uh, loud and then if you press and hold the volume down and the power key together it will take a screenshot do it again here you go you have a screenshot now when the phone is locked just lock the phone when the phone is locked if you tap press and hold the volume down key it will take you to the camera so this is the camera so when the phone is locked if you 
press and hold the volume down key it will take you to the camera this is the camera and when the phone is locked if you tap if you press and hold the volume up key it will take you to the quick memo mode you quickly can write down something and I'll show you uh, if you go to if you open your browser Google Chrome I'll better I'll open I'll open my uh, internet internet explorer if you're in the browser if you go to your options here you can see option called capture plus this is one of the cool feature which I like in uh, LG so what it, it does is now let me let me take a screenshot of this area I'll show you the difference between screenshot and ca capture plus so I'll take a screenshot of this page here you go and as well as I'll take capture plus okay, I'll save it to my gallery so let me go to gallery and show you the difference okay okay this is a screenshot which I just took so it takes only the screen area there's no no down nothing nothing at the down so it's it takes only the screen area but in a screen in uh, capture plus go to capture plus as you can see so it takes the whole area in a screenshot you cannot you are not able to see this down part as you can see here in capture plus it it takes the whole web page but in a screenshot it takes only the area of the screen so that is the uh, difference between capture plus and the screenshot and if you go to your keypad just open show you my, I'll show you my keypad you can split your keypad this is available this feature is available in some uh, tablet in this angle you can split the keypad and it's easy for you to type and you can combine it again if you go to your settings message meshes message settings settings I'll go to conversation can conversation theme here as you can see here you can change your wallpaper for messages and the bubble types you can change and of course for wallpaper you can add your customer made food photos for example if I want to add this one I just select that one so that's my wall wallpaper for the message if I go to settings let me go to settings here also you have the three dot options you can have a switch to tab view so this is the tab view network sound display and general but I'd like to keep it list view so let me go to call settings first under call setting you get decline with message tap on that one you get these options plus you can add customers customize message up to maximum English characters so you can type whatever you want so whenever you decline a call the customer made message will go to the caller then then here you can see connection vibration vibrate when the other party answer the call so if you keep it on it will vibrate when the other party answer the call then you can use the power key to end the call so that is in call settings let me go to sound under sound the last option you can see
okay uh, i forgot to show you something under under call so I'll, I'll go back to call settings again here you have option to save unknown numbers save unknown numbers when uh, uh, save unknown numbers to contact after a call so i'll click it on and i'll let me call so i'll, I'll select it so and let me call this phone and show you how it works so i'm calling my phone and i'll decline it so i'll get this i'll do that again let me do that again i'm calling my phone i'll answer that I'll disconnect the call then i get this option to save the unknown number into my contact list and one more uh, feature I would like to show you suppose you are in some other application for example I'll open my gallery if you get a message if you get a notification or if you get a message without exiting the application where you were you are in you can directly reply to that message for example now I'll get a message miss call alert let me wait for that do that again so I'll decline then I will be having a score alert okay you got this this score alert so directly without exiting your application wherever you are in you can reply to that message that's a cool feature of FGG3 so let me go back to the settings again We were talking about the call settings and we talk about the sounds and then let me go to display under the under display you have font type you can select the font type and then the font size you can select the font size where whatever you want and then you can see here smart screen screen stays on when phone detects your face so if if the feature is on, it detects it detects your fa fa uh, face, so it will not go off while you are watch looking at the phone. So let me go to the next option, home touch buttons. You can see button combination. You can edit these buttons. You can drag and drop, and you can add more buttons. You can add up to to five buttons as you can see here so you can add up to five buttons and then you can select the color as you can see it's changing home button colors I'd like to keep this one and then here last option you can see hide home buttons home touch buttons if you keep it on select that one in some applications you can you can uh, hide these home buttons for example if you want to hide the button uh, to touch buttons in uh, Google Chrome select that one so if you go to Google Chrome let me go to Google Chrome and show you so in the Google Chrome now touch buttons are not there so if you want to get back just swipe up get the touch buttons so let me go to the next settings home screen we went to the home screen before so let's go to the lock screen settings see under lock screen you can see uh, select the type to lock the screen I would like to show you the uh, knock code so select the knock code it will ask you to do a pattern it should be con combination uh, from 3 to 8 so I'll use a simple pattern now it's confirmed and it'll ask me to put the passcode put four zeros for now it's done so let me lock the screen 
uh, if, if I want to unlock the screen you put the same button it will unlock the phone if you double tap it will switch on but it will not, not be un unlocked if you want to unlock just put the pattern back so that is called knock code and under under lock screen settings you can see contact info for lost phones show contact info on lock screen okay, let's go to the next settings in the event uh, of under lock the, screen in the event, you can see here con contact info for lost phone show contact info on the lock screen in the event phone is lost so you can have a message if the phone is phone is lost the one who received the phone or who or the one who found the phone he will see that message so we can have a personalized message then go to gesture control under gesture control you can see answer calls answer an incoming call so you can if there's any call if the feature is on we can directly take the phone and keep it in your eye it will answer the phone directly and then fade out ringing tone during an incoming call pick the phone from a flat surface to fade out the ringing tone let, let me try that for you so I'm gonna call my phone let's see how it works so it's ringing okay call from plus nine seven let me one, pick it up five, oh. yeah that's true so the ringing tone ringing volume goes down when as you pick up the phone so next let me see the next option silence incoming call during an incoming call or video call Flip the phone to silence the incoming call. So let me try that and that one as well. So I'm gonna call back my phone. So you can, if you want to make the phone silent, you can flip the phone back. So it's ringing. Call from plus nine. Let me Seven. flip the phone. Yeah, works. It's silent now. Same as that, you can have for video. Flip the phone to post videos. Let me go to the next option, gesture control. We add gesture control, so we'll go to the one hand operation. One hand operation allows you to use one hand, one finger for keypad, basically for dial pad and keypad. So let me show with the dial pad. If I go to my dial pad, you can have right justified or left justified dial pad same thing you can have for text messages as well for the keypad let me go to the settings back storage as you can see I have 16 GB device shows the memory which have been used by application and then let me go to battery under battery you can see as you can see battery percentage on the status bar it's 50 percent left now so i'm at 50 percent i'll like deselect then it will go off select it again then battery server the battery server mode activates when the battery goes down up to 30 percent so in battery server mode you can select the settings which you want to see bluetooth wi-fi auto sync or you can deselect them let me go to the smart cleaning smart cleaning app what is what it does is it identifies the temporary files and idle applications and it will eliminate those idle and uh, temporary files in order to give you more space and then let's go to the apps and apps you can see downloaded so I have 2 GB 2 GB uh, RAM so out of 2 GB 1.8 GB is used and then you have on SD card running application and all the all application let me go back settings do uh, default message app so you can select either hang on or normal message and dual window 
sorry 12 window I showed you short uh, at the beginning of the video then let me go to guest mode this is a really uh, nice feature of LT devices so here what you can see what you can do is you can lock some content like if you are give, giving your phone to a friend and you don't want them to see your personal information personal data you can hide them without without hiding them at uh, one by one you can uh, directly unlock your device to guest mode in the guest mode you can change the wallpaper and you can select the apps up to five apps you are you are allowed to select so these only these applications you can select so now there are five applications already have been selected so the pattern you can have so I'll be having this kind of pattern I'll do that again so I'll be having this pattern for guest mode and now let me lock the screen and I'll go to my guest mode as you can see it's a different wallpaper I cannot access my uh, gallery it's a new gallery even though if you open the camera cannot see the gallery so this is something really new it's a really cool feature let me go to my personal mode okay then let me go to language and inputs under language and inputs if you go to settings keep at settings under settings you can see keyboard height and layout bottom row keys the first one you can select the combination of bottom row keys you can add more keys if you like like to have this kind of key or plus key whatever or this this icon also you can edit you can have uh, voice or the handwriting whatever you like whatever you like whatever way you like and then keyboard height you can adjust the keyboard height as you wish this is the maximum let me put it down and this is the minimum so this is really useful I guess people who has big fingers so for them to able to write faster so you can adjust the keypad let me go to the next option shortcut keys I showed you before volume down key for camera and volume up key for quick note and quick circle case you have the application built into your phone I'm gonna show you the quick circle case quickly this is a case from LG made for LG G3 let me unbox and show you really nice looking case with a circle window it's a unique design from LG so let me fix to my phone and show you how it works so it fits perfectly you don't have to remove the back cover you can fix it perfectly like that wow it's a nice uh, kind of light effect as you can see shows the day time and you can select applications for settings pedometer music and you can open your camera let me open the camera and show you you can capture photos tap on the screen you can you can see the photos let me call this device and see how it displays you can answer you can decline call from plus nine seven one it's really nice here you can there's a small area to see the notification the message is received from plus nine seven one five oh 
The best thing of this camera, uh, of this uh, case is when you fold it down, it will not block the camera. As you can see here, the camera surface, camera area is already open. So it's easy for you to take a photo while having the so it's easy for you to take a photo while having the flip open so it will not disturb you so let me show you the screen clarity of this uh, phone I'm gonna uh, play a video first Awesome display, 2K resolution, quad HD display. You can you can adjust the volume instead of going back to the keys. You can adjust your volume from here directly, and the brightness of the display you can adjust. That's vivid display. Nice colors. You can minimize. Let me play back again. Let me play the video. Minimize the video and you can still do some other work while playing the video. You can browse the internet, you can do other works, you can type message. No matter how far you go. You can close that. Let me play a video and show you for you. Okay, I have the dead dead trigger. Let me open it for you. That's really good graphics. This one has this device has Adreno 330 GPU graphic uh, graphic processing unit. It gives you really good colors, good graphics. Play, gameplay is really nice in the with this device. I really enjoy playing games in the in this device. It will give you really good experience. So let me open the game for you. Sounds are really good. The cutscene is really response. Waiting till the game game is open. Okay, it's ready to go. What do we have here? Yeah. Enter the world of pain. Okay, ready to go. That's really nice feeling. Awesome display. Really nice graphics. So I'll let you to experience this uh, device with gaming experience.
and the camera let me open the camera for you finally here you can hide all your settings and you can have full uh, let me finally let me open the camera for you show the camera here you can hide or you can open your settings with this option keys let me keep one object in front of me so this is how the camera looks like so this has 13 megapixel back camera if you go to modes you have auto magic focus panorama and dual let me show you the auto uh, magic focus so just actually in magic focus what it does is it takes several photos after you take the photo you can choose the best among them you can this is similar to time shift feature in uh, blackberry so you can move this small point here and there and see the best photo you can save that the image and then you have dual mode in dual mode it uses both uh, front and back you can move this way back and front so that, that is a dual mode and you get some options here you can have nice kind of uh, frames here Instant, heart shape, star shape, that is the dual mode. Let me go back to the camera. And then you have the panorama mode as well. So you can here switch on the flash, make it auto. Under settings, get HDR auto and the megapixel. And select here for camera let me go back to the camera again okay so under settings you can see you can see the resolution for the camera 30 megapixel 10 megapixel 9 megapixel and 33 megapixel and for the video camera you have uh, slow motion HD Full HD and ultra high, high, high definition, which is 4K. So, let me go back. I'll open the front camera. So this is a fun front camera, just 2.1 megapixel. You can take selfies with your finger gesture, or just do a fist. Let me okay. Let me open the front camera for you. So this one has 2.1 megapixel front camera. You can do a fist. It will text you a picture. That's the front camera. And you can see the can I just adjust the beautiness here. From the settings, the smoothness of the photo. So that's it uh, for now. So this is the LG G3 flagship smartphone. So that's it for now. So this is the LG G3 flagship smartphone from LG for 2014. So really cool uh, cool device in terms of the design display camera and the sound so all over it's a really good phone in this year hope you'll enjoy the phone see you next time thanks for watching